environment ministers have ended a week-long meeting in Nairobi and have resolved to upgrade the United Nations environment programs by strengthening the institution to better meet the challenges and opportunities of the 21st century. The government's also decided to, in October, convene an intergovernmental diplomatic conference to formally adopt the Minamata Convention on Mercury that was agreed in January in Geneva. Our correspondent Ayola Kasim, just back from Nairobi, Kenya, reports. The closing moments of the first session of the United Nations Environment Program Governing Council and Global Ministerial Environment Forum on that universal membership. It has been a week of intense negotiations and everyone here knows that it is time to come up with walkable solutions. Delegations have worked now for five days non-stop in sessions to negotiate a whole series of decisions. That list of decisions ranges from uh, for example, chemicals, uh, in terms of also the new Mercury Convention, which UNEF facilitated over the last three years and was successfully negotiated in January this year in Geneva, to the future financing of chemicals actions in the global context. We also received in the Governing Council the report and the decision related to the new, if I may call it, sister body to the IPCC, which is the science body of the United Nations dealing and addressing climate change. What was approved last year was the establishment of something called IPBES, the Intergovernmental Platform on Biodiversity and Ecosystems. This new body, which will focus on the biodiversity and ecosystem science aspects for governments was uh, held its first assembly in Bonn in January of this year. So the world finally has, if you want, the equivalent that it has for climate change also established for biodiversity and ecosystems. We also have decisions related to the state of the environment in which ministers have reviewed the developments over the last year, identified priorities for action. And we also have decisions that um, address themselves to the future work of the United Nations Environment Programme, a new medium-term strategy, a new program of work for the next two years, and also a new budget and a new financing framework for the United Nations Environment Programme. The ministers also committed to the initiative to decouple economic growth from unsustainable use of natural resources and pollution generation called the 10-year framework of programs for sustainable consumption and production patterns, otherwise known as the 10YFP for SCP. We have uh, considered the issues on en uh, green energy, green economy, there are issues on uh, consumption and production, uh, there are issues uh, related to energy per se, agricultural activities and so forth. Some delegates from Africa believe lack of preparation by participants from the continent somewhat affected their bargaining power at the sessions. We should have uh, met, put our statements together before coming as a block. So if we come here and start everything from the scratch, this is putting us uh, behind the scene. And then the 10% comes well after the meeting. After we meet with the whole group, we are supposed to go back as AU and sit again and see how actually we are going to implement the issues that we are discussed. Because one week for African countries to go through all these issues is a very short time. But at the end of the day, each delegate here believes what is agreed is a fair deal. Among the worth of decisions taken at the first universal membership of the UNEP Governing Council were a UNEP-led consortium that will host and coordinate the Climate Technology Center and Network, which will be the implementing arm of the technology mechanism of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. Ayola Kasim reporting for Channels Television News.